Hello class, I created this video to help with challenge activity 3.3.3 uh, using regression to make uh, predictions. So first thing we have to do is click this link to get the spreadsheet. And it looks like we need the data analysis tool pack. Um, if you have a Mac, you might not be able to access the analysis tool pack on Excel. Uh, you might need the latest version of Excel to access that tool pack. Um, Call this new help desk to see if they can help you uh, download the most recent version of Excel. Uh, if that doesn't work, I will show a workaround uh, to get the same answers without using the tool pack. But it's really much easier if you can use this tool pack. Okay. Uh, and again, if you are using a PC and you're having trouble getting this tool pack, again, call this new help desk. Make sure you have the newest version of Excel. So let's begin. I've downloaded the file. This is my file. If you click on File, all the way down here it says Options. Now it says uh, Add-ins. We want to click because we're going to add in this tool pack. And then we want the Excel add-ins. So I press Go. You should have a check mark here next to Analysis Tool Pack. If you do not, click it so now you do have a check mark. If you already had a check mark, there's nothing more for you to do. All right, so we have the check mark. I click OK. And now when I click data, to the right, you'll notice it says data analysis. And I get this little window. So we're going to be working with regression. And then I click OK. And it asks me for my Y range and my X range, right? So this is my response variable and my explanatory variable. So I go back to the problem. And it says, uh, Correlation coefficient for a model that predicts the list price. So the response variable is list price for single family homes. Now, these words might change, right? This problem is designed to change every time a student opens it, so you always have a different problem. So just look, you know, if you have a different heading here, just look for the heading that you have, okay? So list price of single family homes. I'm going to just highlight that just so you can kind of, oh, it's not letting me because I have the uh, window open, no problem. So I'm gonna click on single family homes, this is the list price, and scroll down. And you notice it puts all of my, air, uh, my range in here for my Y variables. And then the next value was uh, unemployment rate as the explanatory variable, that's my X value. So where's the unemployment rate up here? So I click on this X range, and then I just highlight everything. And so now I have my X and Y, I think, and it's going to open up in a new worksheet. So down here, I'll have a new sheet. I press OK. And here is my R value. Now, I notice my slope is negative, so my R will actually be negative, OK? so. Uh, let's enter this value into our box here. It says, what is the R value? I, I click, and I have to round to three decimal places. Oops, I rounded to four. So let's change this eight to a nine for rounding. And remember, it's negative. I almost forgot the negative sign, right? It's negative because our slope is negative, right? So that's one way to get this answer. Now, if you are using a Mac and you don't have access to this tool pack, um, if we go back to the original problem, remember we were looking at single family homes and an unemployment rate. If I type in the, the equal sign and then the, the letter C-O-R-R-E-L, right, that's gonna give me a correlation. And it says array one is my, my Y values. And then I put in the comma, space, and then my x values were the unemployment rate. And then I close and press enter. And notice it puts the negative sign in for me, right? Here's the formula we used, equals, and don't forget the equal sign. And then we end up with negative 1.289, which is what we got here, right? 1.289, just here it didn't write the negative for me, but I knew it was negative because I looked at the slope, okay? So 
it's a weak correlation. Let's check our answer, and we get it correct. Yay. Right, it's weak because it's uh, between 0 and 0 0.4. All right, so this first problem had single-family home prices and unemployment rate. When I click next, you have to be careful because they change it on us. Now it's less price of single-family homes, and now we have household income. And again, on your screen, you might have something different because these problems change for each student. Okay, but it looks like we want the regression equation. All right, so I'm going to highlight list price of single-family homes and then household income. Let's uh, get back. Single-family homes, household income. And I'm going to get rid of this one. All right, so we're looking at these two columns, and we want the regression equation. So I'm going to... We don't need this sheet anymore. I'm going to delete this sheet. And here we go. All right. And I, we don't need this here either. All right. So we want to do, uh, we want to get the linear regression equation for this. So again, if I press data, data analysis, right, here's regression. I press OK. My Y values, so my Y values are still valid here. Right, that was column B2 and all the way down. But I just want to show you, let me highlight this. All right, so I'm going to highlight single family homes. And my input was the household income. And I just want to double check that household income was the explanatory variable. Household income. Yep. Okay, so we have our values. I press OK. And my y-intercept is this value, and my slope is this value over here. Okay, so uh, I'm going to cut and paste. Here's my slope, and that goes next to the x. And they round to three decimal places, so I'm going to round to three decimal places. All right, and then for my y-intercept, that was this negative. So I will highlight that and cut and paste and enter it. And again, I'm going to round to three decimal places. So it looks like two, two, one. I should round that to a two. And uh, the interpretation of the slope, well, since the slope is positive, it looks like there's an increase in the list price of single-family homes as the median income increases, okay? If this was negative, we'd say a decrease, right? And then interpretation of the intercept, there is no practical interpretation, right? Because uh, we can't have a, a value of the home that's zero, okay? Uh, I'm going to press check answer. And... No red marks, so that means we got everything correctly, okay? Uh, so I'm going to end this video here, and then I'll do part two to answer question number three, okay? So I hope uh, this helps, and look for part two to cover the, the next part, right? There's three parts to this problem. We've only done parts one and two. But before I go, I, I do want to show you how to get this linear uh, regression equation without using the, the data analysis tool pack. So if you have a Mac and you can't load that data pack, uh, there is another way to get this answer. So I go back to my spreadsheet. And right, remember, we're looking at single family homes and household income. So if I type in, whoops, if I type in the word L-I-N, oops, we have to do equals first, equals L-I-N-E-S-T, and then parentheses, uh, you always start with your y variable, uh, comma, space, x variable, close parentheses, press enter. You see how I have, this is my slope, and this is my y-intercept, right? And if you look at these values, let's make this a little bigger. So you can see better. 
Right, if I were to put these values into here, they're the same, right? 12.625, right? 12.625. Y-intercept, negative 33, 335,000 and change. Negative 335,000 and change. Okay, so the point is um, you can use the data um, analysis tool pack or you can actually just use this function here, L-I-N-E-S-T, uh, to get the slope and the y-intercept as well. All right, thank you for watching.